Chris Bork. Good to see you. Yeah, you? yeah I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Um, so, you've picked a fight with Michael Ramabaletsa. This is a guy that's generally being avoided. I think he said it himself. Everyone's avoiding him. Why on earth are you not avoiding him? Oh, for that reason, you know, he's an avoided fighter, and um, I feel like when I beat him, it'll make a statement. And it's also for the WBC silver title. Why do you think he's being avoided? I feel I think it's, it comes down a lot to it of his record. You know, his record is is quite 50-50, um, but but he's a good fighter and he's boxed a lot of good boys. So what what does he do well? Have you, have you been going through his fights and sort of studying? Not really. That's not really what I do. You know, I just sort of listen to my team and and f- focus on what they say. Um, mm-hmm. And I just I just train as hard as I can. So this is a fight that was meant to happen a few weeks back on the Bentley Heffron show, and it got pulled. Talk me through your emotions uh, at that point, and then the relief of when it got rescheduled. Yeah, you know I was gutted um, the day before the weigh-in. You know you're, you're watching your food, your drink, you're you're, you're a bit aggy anyway. Mm. And then to hear that, I was gutted because it's been a long camp. Um, but you know, thing is, I'm sure Michael was gutted as well. You know he's got a family that he has to feed and stuff, so. It was, it was a big relief when it got uh, remade, especially before Christmas, because that was another issue. Yeah. I, was, I thought, a long training camp, and now I'm going to have to wait till after Christmas. So you were quite surprised that you managed to squeeze it in? Yeah, you know, I've got to thank Frank and, and my manager, Martin, and, and Ray and the team for, for doing it, yeah. So you're the, uh, you're the southern area champion now at Super Bantamweight. Has that sort of changed your, your mindset now, having, having a belt you know, at home <laughs> to look at? Have you got the belt, by the way? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So it hasn't been delivered yet, but <laughs> but it's on its way. It's on its way. So yeah. what does that do for you? Fight, fight like yourself now, being able to call yourself a champ. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, to be honest. I haven't really thought about it like that that much. Um, just each fights, even even the the earlier fights, even though they weren't championship fights, they were just as important as this fight and the fights before, because you have to win. What are your reflections on your fight with Ramez Mahmoud? That was a, a BT Sport fight, your, your first TV fight, yeah. I believe, as well. Yeah, it was. Um, I, I, I thought I boxed well, you know. Ramez was a very fit and, and, sh- and strong kid that kept coming forwards, and I thought I'd done what I needed to do to, to, to get the win. Did you get any any sort of feedback from Martin, what you did well, what you didn't do well? Yeah, there's a few things that I got told, you know, and I've worked on that this camp to, to try and iron out them issues. And um, I got loads of good feedback from, from people online as well, which was quite nice. Mm. Did you feel that brand CB, and I'm looking at your cap, is brand CB building? Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> I got some hats on that made and they sold out pretty quick, which is good. Where is mine? It's in the post. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me this, right? Michael Ramabalet says, I've seen he's done a few interviews, he's, he's here, he's doing interviews today. I've overheard him say that you haven't fought anyone. You know, um, compared to him, I haven't really fought anyone. He's bought, to be fair, he has boxed a much high, higher calibre, but um, that's what these fights are for, you know, is to, is to answer questions that people are still asking about me and to, to, to answer them convincingly and carry on winning. His last three fights, I don't know if you've had a look at it, but he's... He's taken O's. He's boxed prospects 7 and 0, 8 and 0, 9 and 0, and they're no longer 7, 8, 9 and 0. But he's yeah. taken their O's. Yeah. So, uh, any concerns? No, well, that's why he's an avoided <laughs> fighter, you know. Do you know what I mean? Um, uh, my last fight, he was undefeated in 11 fights. It, it doesn't matter, you know. I just have to perform on the day and I'll get the win. What sort of statement are you looking to make on Saturday night? Do you, do you feel as though you have to do more? I mean, he's, he's lost a few times, but it's kind of deceptive record, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I just need to do what I, I always do and, and, and box smart and clever and, and, and get the win. Finally, tell me your prediction then. How's it going to happen? It's going to be a Chris Bork win. That's all I know. That's all I know. Chris Bork win just in time for Christmas. Eh? Yeah, and then enjoy Christmas with my family. For Christmas, could I get one of those hats? 100%. Thanks very much, Chris. <laughs> we'll, uh, I'll see you on Fortnite. Sweet, cheers, Dave. <laughs> That's one, cheers.